had to go to Kingston to get the other one. Uh, so it makes it really hard on, on some of these people. We got everybody here now. We do. We have everybody. They may delete the voicemail that I got here. Is it about your car warranty? No, actually, it was from Jeff's company. Uh, reminding me that it might be time to order my CPAP materials. So there you go. I don't know about you, but my CPAP really has changed my life. Oh, it made, on, yes. Yeah, it, it, I just don't even want to go to sleep without it anymore at all. Greatest thing that this there. All right, I will call this Ray County Regional Planning Commission to order for Thursday, January 28th, 2021 at 5.30. This is a Zoom virtual meeting and we have met all the requirements uh, to have a Zoom meeting. And also please remember to um, speak your name before you make any type of statement to help Miss Teresa take minutes. Also, if you don't mind, if you have any background noise, please mute your uh, device unless it's time to speak for you. And all votes will be done by a roll call vote to meet the standards for a virtual meeting as well. This time, Chair will entertain a motion to approve the minutes from the December 17th meeting. Billy, so move. Now I've got a motion. Also move. Move. Teresa, pick one. Uh, I'm not sure who I had. Was it Jeff and Billy? Yeah, that yes. was. They, they was a lot of people who made the motion. Okay. <laughs> We're going with Jeff and Billy. <laughs> that works. All right. Any discussion? Seeing none, roll call vote, ma'am. Okay, one second. Okay, Jim Reed. Yes. Tommy Snyder. Yes. Tommy Ballard? Yes. Jeff McDaniel? Yes. Shane Clark? Yes. Billy Thedford? Yes. Did I get everybody? Yes. No, you forgot Teresa Congeloso. Oh, Teresa Congeloso, yes. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that is a little weird to call out your own name in it. It is. <laughs> My grandmother used to say, if you talk to yourself and then answer yourself, you're crazy. So I don't well, know, Teresa. My grandfather said that, that when he talked to himself, it was the only person he knew that had any D-A-M sense. <laughs> <laughs> he, he really did mumble to himself all the time. And you would say, you know, Pa, who are you talking to? And he would say, the only person I know has got any damn sense. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. Well, there you have it. It runs in the family. It's in the genes. <laughs> All right. Next item under new business. Our first item under new business is Albert Davis Subdivision Final Plat, Doc Smith Surveying. And with that said, Doc Smith Surveying is every one of these. So every one of these will be James. You're up, Chad. All right, we'll start off with an easy one. There weren't any changes that needed to be made on this one. And James has gone ahead and submitted all of the plats with any corrections that they were needed. Uh, so this one didn't have any changes. So staff recommends approval, just pending signatures. Chair will entertain a motion to refer to staff for signatures as presented. Thank you. I have a motion and a second. I still missed that. Jane Clark, motion, Billy Thedford, second. Okay. Any discussion? Seeing none, roll call vote, ma'am. Okay. All right. Jim Reed. Yes. Tommy Snyder. Yes. Tommy Ballard. Yes. Shane or Jeff McDaniel. 
Yes. Shane Clark. Yes. Billy Thedford. Yes, ma'am. Teresa Congeloso. Yes. Thank you, ma'am. Next item number two, James Vincent subdivision major. Okay. When this preliminary plat was approved um, in January of last year, you had asked for him to show the fire hydrant location on the final plat. Uh, all the other corrections you see here have been made, but that still has not been done on the final plat. And so it's not just necessarily showing a location, but it means they will need to install one and we don't know that that's been done. So James, do you have any idea? It, it has not been done yet. Okay. But it, it, they have plans to do it. All right, can we, uh, can we, uh, can we refer this to staff for signatures pending the installation of the fire hydrant? We have done that one time before on, on a subdivision like this. Can we do that this time, Chad? Yeah, if James will put it on there and verify that it's in before Teresa signs, so he can be the one that verifies it for us. Is that okay with you, James? Yes, that's that's wonderful. Okay, right. works for me. So installation of the of the actual hydrant itself, not just on the drawing. Is that what I'm hearing? Yes, ma'am. Okay. All right. We do we have anybody wishing to make that motion? Jeff McDaniel, I'll make it. I have a motion. Do I have a second? Second. I'm I'm I have a motion, and Trace, I'll let you get on the second. That time I didn't get it. Um, you got Tommy it. Tommy Snyder, wasn't it? Yes. Okay. Any discussion? Seeing none, roll call vote, ma'am. Okay, Jim Reed. Yes, ma'am. Tommy Snyder. Yes. Jeff McDaniel? Yes. Tommy Ballard? Yes. Shane Clark? Yes. Billy Thedford? Yes. Teresa Congeloso? Yes. Thank you, ma'am. Next item is Stephen and Lacey Kinney subdivision. Chad? And this was the original review. James has gone and, and made the notation that we needed on here. There's a variance needed for the existing structure. Uh, that would be here on the northwest side of the property. Uh, there is a flag stem that they're maintaining to get to the remainder of the property. Uh, there's also additional access there that's shown on the right hand side too. So that's really just like a secondary access. Plus there's an, an outbuilding like a shed or something there they're trying to keep. Uh, so the variance would be for that structure. He has listed here that it would be an eight and a half uh, foot variance that's being requested. And there were no other changes recommended on this plan. But that's a variance into the building setback, but it is still all on their property, correct, yes, sir? That's correct. All right. Chair Lintana motion to refer to staff procedures. And for the ballot, so move. I'm sorry, for procedures with variance. That was a variance of eight and a half feet at uh, from building setback line for existing structure, correct, Chad? Yes, sir. That's correct. Okay. We'll Second, let Ms. Tracy get caught up on that. We got Tommy uh, Ballard and Tommy Snyder. When you get caught up, Ms. Tracy, let us know. Okay. That'll be referred to staff for signatures with a variance granted of eight and a half feet for an existing structure. Right, got it. Uh, from the building um, setback line. Uh, existing structure in the building setback. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Um, all right, we need to do a roll call. Yes, ma'am. Jim Reed. Yes, ma'am. Tommy Snyder. Yes. Tommy Ballard. Yes. Jeff McDaniel. Yes. Shane Clark. Yes. Billy Thedford. Yes. Teresa Congeloso, yes. Thank you, ma'am. Number four, Billy Lovett subdivision. Chad? Uh, no changes requested on this. I just wanted to point out some case that came up that shows a 25 foot wide easement serving this, but we're not adding any new additional lots. 
So I didn't see the need to increase the width of that easement to 50 feet because all they're doing is abandoning this large tract right here and making it a lot smaller. So this is the one that James had submitted and I would recommend approval of this pending signatures. Chair, I'll entertain a motion to refer to staff for signatures. So really so move. Have a motion, do I have a second? Tom Valor, have a motion and a second. Any discussion? Seeing none, roll call vote, ma'am. Okay, Jim Reed. Yes, ma'am. Uh, Tommy Snyder. Yes. Tommy Ballard. Yes. Jeff McDaniel. Yes. Shane Clark. Yes. Billy Thedford. Yes. Uh, Teresa Congeloso, yes. Thank you, ma'am. Next item is Michael Bray. I hope I said that right. Subdivision, final plat. Uh, Chad, looks like you've approved this one as presented for signatures. Yes, sir. There was a few modifications made. We did go in and add the road right away and some others, but there were no changes requested and we recommend approval pending signatures. Chair Lentan, a motion to refer to staff for signatures. Shane Clark, so moved. Have a motion, have a second. Jeff McDaniel, so moved. Have a motion and a second. Any discussion? Seeing none, okay. roll call vote, ma'am. Okay, Jim Reed. Yes, ma'am. Tommy Snyder. Yes. Tommy Ballard. Yes. Jeff McDaniel. Yes. Shane Clark. Yes. Billy Thedford. Yes. Teresa Congeloso. Yes. Thank you, ma'am. Next item, number six, Earl Rogers House of Hodgepodge Subdivision. Chad? Okay, this one may require some discussion, but I will go ahead and start with the basics. Uh, there was a 35-foot uh, front yard setback required because it is on a state route. Uh, James has made that correction, uh, but the remaining issue that stands on this plat is this little building that's located right here. It's inside of the 50-foot wide private drive that's there. Uh, when we looked at this property a few years ago, we made a subdivision on this side of it, and the easement was there at that time, but this building was not. Hmm. Is, is that a portable building? It's, I wouldn't call it totally portable, but it's not on a foundation. Hmm. Well, it says that easement is, uh, easement is existing but PC cannot grant a variance for a building in a right of way. Folks, I'm gonna say that there's no discussion to be had here. We just went down this in a Paula Shores, which I've been trying to think of the name of that for a week. We just went down this same route in a Paula Shores mm -hmm. uh, where they had a structure that was in the right of way. Right. Um, so we've already set our precedents that we're not going to grant. I'm not gonna get sued by those people in the Paula Shores to grant a variance of something sitting in a county right of way or a private right of way. Um, we just can't do that, so. Nope, they would have to do the same thing, Mr. Chairman, wouldn't they? They'd have to purchase property to ex extend that right of way uh, to the north though, correct? They're either gonna have to move the right of way or move the building, one of the two. Mm -hmm. Now we've already got a grant, uh, looks to me like from uh, a variance uh, the 35 foot, we've got a, we looks to me like we got a building that's set within the 35 foot setback to start with, um, according to James's drawings. Do we have to grant a variance for that as well? We typically don't do that. If it's an existing property line, we don't typically okay. grant it off the right of way. It's usually when it's creating a new property line that creates a violation. Okay. So the, the actual hodgepodge building that the front is this far or this far, however the scale is, over the property line is not an issue for us at this point. The issue that we have has to do with the fact that they're having that, an accessory building that is setting over the property line into a designated right of way. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. All right, Chad, how do you, um, I said they, they'd have to move the building. Yeah, I, I mean, do we want to table this or do we want to, 
uh, what do we want to do here? What are they trying to do? Are they just trying to get the building accepted in this piece of property, James? What exactly are they trying to do? I, I haven't really spoke to them that much about it. And uh, I think, it, you know, it's Earl Rogers. He still owns the property and uh, he'd probably be willing to move that building or, or just get rid of it altogether. It's just a, a storage building. Chair Lynn Tain, a motion to table till next month for further information from the surveyor and the property owner. So moved, Tommy Snyder. I have a motion. Do I have a second? Second, Tommy Ballard. I have a motion and a second. Any discussion? Seeing none, roll call vote, ma'am. Jim Reed. Yes, ma'am. Tommy Snyder. Yes. Tommy Ballard. Yes. Jeff McDaniel. Yes. Shane Clark. Yes. Billy Thedford. Yes. Teresa Congeloso. Yes. The next item is Blue Sky Subdivision. Um, Mark Johnson, preliminary plat. Chad? This is one I think we've been waiting to see for some time. We've heard about it for a long oh, time. Yeah. We're actually looking at it. Uh, this is the one that already has the existing paved road uh, off this, of Highway 30 um, going up through there. I this believe I noticed there. this curved over the weekend, isn't it? I think it yes. is. Yes, it, it, does, it does have a curve. You mean as indifferent than what's on a flat? No, no, oh, no. It's, it's paved and curved. And, and I'm going to back up here just one second and state one thing. Um. I have had a conversation about this and a phone call about this. Um, Tommy, was this road put in during your term? No, sir. No. And my understanding is, is uh, there's a question of whether it was inspected and put in under the supervision of our current road supervisor. So my understanding, well, y'all got it up there in front of you. My understanding is, is that Blue Sky Road there is a question of whether it will meet the standards to become a county road also. So let me go ahead and throw that out because I have had that discussion because they've, they've, they've been to me as chairman of the planning commission before with questions about this road that's went in. Chad, do you have any information on that for us? Or James, do you have any information? I do not. We, I think we started this in 2018 and uh, we got all of our, our pins in and then something went down with the state over drainage issues and we didn't hear from them for months and months, maybe a year. And uh, it's just, we're trying to get it going again. And I, I'm, I'm pretty sure there are fire hydrants in, but we haven't had a chance to go out and locate them. And, um, but it, it just, my opinion, the road would meet county standards well, but the standards of width doesn't have to do with the standards of proving that there's proper compaction and, and the, the subsurface meets the standards. That's right. where the, that I'm talking about. The width so, part was gone. So Mr. Johnson will have to come up with all of those certificates. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I looked at it yesterday and the road was pretty rough. Yeah, and see that's something at this point, the only way we can move forward with is it being considered a private road. And if they're wanting it to be a public road in the county system at some point, they'll have to get with Glenn and do some core sampling and, and go through and let him do the inspection on it. If they have any drawings and plans and let him make a decision on it, whether it'd be worthy of being accepted into the county. But now as far as it being a private road, your standard just say you have to have a 50 foot right of way. So we can at right. least move forward with it that way. One, uh, Mr. Chairman, if I may, um, one, one problem that we have, uh, I'm, I'm not sure where they came up with Blue Sky Road, but that definitely would not be approved through 911 because we already have a Blue Sky, um, and I believe there's already a Blue Sky subdivision, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but I know that there are some Blue Sky Roads out in Cottonport. Um, I, 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 don't, I don't have my map pulled up on my computer, and it'd take too long to, I don't want to hold anybody up, but... Um, certainly they're going to have to come up with a different road name. They've not consulted with me at all on a street name. 
Um, and that road, typically a, a, a dead end drive is not listed as a road. A road typically starts in the intersection of one road and ends in another road. And this is just a dead end cul-de-sac. So it would end up being a lane or a drive or something of that nature. So it definitely would not be approved through 911 as far as the road name. So um, I, I'm not sure who these folks are. Uh, I, I remember at one time, I believe Mr. Bradley Varner was a part of this. I'm not sure if he still is, but I, I've not been made aware of any of this. So uh, they would have to come through my office and let's figure out a road, a proper road name. Um, Shane, I'm not finding one, just looking at my courthouse records. Now, directly across from there, there is Sky Drive, but not a Blue Sky Drive. I'm not finding anything that says Blue Sky either. Well, I, I may be mistaken, but I, I was thinking that there was one somewhere out in Cotton, the Cottonport area. I can, I can, I can verify that, and, it, and certainly if there's not, it's not a problem, but we would definitely need to update that road. Instead of it being road, it'd need to be a lane or a drive or, or something of that nature, uh, since it's going to be a dead-end cul-de-sac. And then my understanding is there's going to be another, in the future, another dr uh, private road or a county road coming off of it uh, after Lot 13 or in between lots 12 and 13. That was the last I had heard of it. I just don't want to, I just don't want the uh, developers to get too far in the process and then us have to come back and, you know, kind of throw a wrench into it. I'd rather do it they've up front. They've kind of gone way backwards on this one. Yeah, no doubt. Yeah, they they ran into some some drainage issues with the neighbors, and then uh, this point number eight, we actually had to. I'm pretty sure they got that because at some point we had to move the entrance back towards lot uh, number one. You can see that slight turn in it right there. So they have talked to the state because they knew that they had to move that to to have very better visibility entering Highway 30. So I know they've worked with the state. I just don't know to what extent. Yeah, I can, I can easily verify that one. I've, I've not sent it to TDOT yet, but I can. So while we're on this, I moved to the uh, latest drawing that uh, James had given us and the numbering the way it is there is because it was off of what was the original recommendation. So James already addressed the fire hydrants. Those are something we're gonna have to know uh, where they are and make sure they do meet your requirements to be every lot being within 500 feet of a fire hydrant. I'm guessing this is septic. I don't think sewer goes out that far, but that was just a question I wanted to know. Uh, for now, it looks like we're going to have to consider this as a private road until they've had a chance to talk with Glenn um, and let him come out and do some inspections on it. And of course, you know, any core drilling or whatever they're going to do will have to be done at their cost. I can verify the TDOT permit um, at a later date. Contours were at um, were added, but what I didn't know here, I've not tried to measure it. James, do you know, does this road exceed the 14% grade at any point? No, it didn't. Okay. And let's see, street signs, whether this becomes public or private, this was something we had instituted a while back for major subdivisions with new roads. Those signs have to be installed by the time they come back for a final plat approval. So I just wanted to put that out there as a reminder. Uh, same thing with all infrastructure, including fire hydrants. All of that has to be installed because the only thing we will accept is a certified check for an incomplete road. So all those utilities have to be in. And I know on here it mentions they already have uh, underground electric and there's a six inch water line. And then I added your note, Shane, about the road name. I mean, it's not that big of a deal. I just don't want them to get too far ahead and you know, then they have to come back and make changes, so. You get them, buddy. Shane. I'm, I'm looking for my mute button, so I'm sure it's just. <laughs> Shane, don't you talk about the name of that road anymore. You made that puppy upset. <laughs> <laughs> oh, me. All right, what action do you want to take on this, uh, Chad? So my suggestion was, I think we need to table this till we get just a little bit more information. Um, so then go out and verify the, the hydrants. 
um, see if they want to work with Glenn. So we know on the preliminary going forward, where we're talking about a public or private road, we need to really do that before we keep moving forward, I think. All right, Chair Lintain, a motion to table for further information. Chairman Clark, so moved. Have a motion to have a second. Billy, second. Have a motion and a second. Any discussion? Seeing none, roll call vote, ma'am. Okay, Jim Reed. Yes, ma'am. Tommy Snyder? Yes. Tommy Ballard? Yes. Jeff McDaniel? Yes. Shane Clark? Yes. Billy Thedford? Yes. Teresa Congeloso? Yes. Thank you, ma'am. Next item, item number eight, James Keith and Andy Morgan lot line abandonment, final plat. This will be an easy one. I've looked at the revised version that James sent us. Uh, they are just abandoning all these lots you see down here and combining into one large track. It has all the signature blocks we need. Uh, no septic approval is required because of the size of this. So I'd recommend approval pending signatures. Chair Lentay, a motion to refer to staff for signatures. Motion. Jeff McDaniel, so move. I have a motion. Do I have a second? Second, Tommy Snyder. Have a motion and a second. Any discussion? Seeing none, roll call vote, ma'am. Jim Reed? Yes, ma'am. Tommy Snyder? Yes. Tommy Ballard? Yes. Jeff McDaniel? Yes. Shane Clark? Yes. Billy Thedford? Yes. Teresa Congeloso? Yes. Thank you. Next item, we'll hold our uh, elections. This time, the chair will entertain a nominations for the uh, position of chairman. I'll now nominate Jim Reed for chair again. I'll second it. Thank you. Do we have any other nominations? Seeing no other nominations, roll call vote, madam. Uh, Jim Reed for chairman. And Shane, did you second that? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Um, all right. Well, Jim, do you vote on yourself? No? <laughs> yes, ma'am, just yes, one time. Okay, <laughs> Jim Reed. <laughs> Jim Reed, Jim Reed. Yes, ma'am. Okay, Tommy Snyder. Yes. Tommy Ballard. Yes. Jeff McDaniel. Yes. Shane Clark. Yes. Billy Thedford. Yes. Teresa Congeloso. Yes. You said Shane Clark and the dog started barking and I. <laughs> Dang, what are you doing to my dog? <laughs> Not on time, though. Started with roads. <laughs> that dog likes blue sky. <laughs> This time I'll take nominations for vice chair. Jeff McDaniel, I'll nominate Billy Thedford. I have a motion, or excuse me, a nomination. Do I have a second? I'll second. I have, a, I have a motion and a second for a nomination. Do I have any other <laughs> nominations? Seeing none, roll call vote, ma'am. Jim Reed. Yes, ma'am. Tommy Snyder. Yes, ma'am. Tommy Ballard. Yes. Jeff McDaniel. Yes. Shane Clark. Yes, ma'am. Billy Thedford. Pass. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saving you. <laughs> That's a There's good one. Up soon, now, uh, now, Teresa, you do need to note in our in our minutes that the only way that you can get paid as an officer is you have to turn your camera on so we can look at you. <laughs> he, he's on the phone. <laughs> <laughs> and we really don't I've want to never got him. paid for it either. <laughs> <laughs> oh me. All right, let's see here. Uh did I let you actually get all the way through the votes on that trace before I cut you off? She's mooted, but she said yes. Okay. I'm saying yes because my silly okay. dogs are going nuts. Uh <laughs> don't don't do anything. go in there and beat them. 
We will take nominations for the office of secretary, and I believe that will be a joint effort. That I nominate Tracy Congeloso. We got Second. a nomination for Tracy Congeloso by Billy Thedford and seconded by who? Shane. Second, Jeff McDaniel. Uh, motion and a second. Any other nominations? Seeing none, roll call vote, ma'am. She's beating the dogs. <laughs> Waiting on the dog to quit barking before she unmutes herself. <laughs> yeah, I went in there with the newspaper, threatened to kill him. <laughs> <laughs> I think they're going to settle down now. Okay, so um, yeah, I can hear the settling down in the background. <laughs> blue sky, blue sky, blue sky, <laughs> blue sky, blue sky. <laughs> I had, to go, I had to close the doors so they won't be so loud. So I can get through this last one. Okay, uh, Jim Reed. Yes, ma'am. Uh, Tommy Snyder. Yes. Tommy Ballard. Yes. Jeff McDaniel. Yes. Shane Clark. Yes. Billy Thedford. Twice, Teresa, yes. Okay. <laughs> Teresa Congeloso. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> You know, you know, Teresa, I, I, I've got to admit that one would uh, that one would be hard to say yes to, I guess, with all that keeping up of typing and stuff you have to do in every meeting. <laughs> Folks, I really don't mind. Thank you very much uh, for your confidence again, and congratulations to my fellow officers. You know, the one thing that I do love about this is we get to have a lot of fun with this meeting, a lot of county meetings, and I'm sure city and state meetings aren't fun. This one is always fun, and I do appreciate the camaraderie that we have. Do we have any other properly presented new business? Last thing to note, um, don't forget to turn in your disclosure of interest statements for the Tennessee Ethics Commission by the end of this month. If you've no, not, I did not. Has anybody not done it yet? I did it. Everybody's done it? Uh, yes. Okay. Uh, the reason I was going to say that is because it took me three days to be able to get logged into that system and actually get it to go through the, the little steps. So I was going to give you a phone number to call um, if, if it was still acting up. But since everybody's got them, they must have fixed the glitch. Anything else, Chad? No, sir. That's all. I want to know where my free meal is and where my certificate is. Oh. Oh, oh what's Chad just grinning? Let's work on that. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> You know, that's all right. That's all right. I won't never get that 27 hours of my life back where I watched those videos, but that's all right. Do we have any properly presented old business? Do we have anyone with business to present before the planning commission? Would somebody like to make a motion to adjourn? Is somebody like to second it? Yes, so moved. <laughs> Both. Shane Clark and... Second. Okay, before you guys leave, I got to tell Tommy and Tommy that I got your neighbor's house sold. <gasps> Which now neighbor? all we got to do is like get it completely finished. Not the one between you, the oh. one across the street. <laughs> 900. That 900 Fisher. Oh, they're already the ones that have been living there for a couple months. I finally got that one. Is that the one? Uh, oh, no. It's the... Oh, okay. um, um, oh, Taylor's, Taylor's that live uh, beside Andy Tucker's old house. What about it? Oh, oh I, the, the one that just went on the market just yeah. uh, a while back, the tri level. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. That's been on the market for about 30 days, baby. Maybe. Has maybe. it been, probably been that long? And it, it's, it, well, it was because it was right at Christmas, yeah. So it's already sold. Yeah. Wow. Well, they haven't closed, but we're in the process. They're building another one, so there's another one on the market. Yep. All right. Guess we'll see you guys later. Yeah. Or do we need a break? Oh. Bye. Bye. See you all. Bye.